everybody. I just wanted to say welcome back. I'm so glad you're here today. We are on our activity of Hansel and Gretel. We are learning about Hansel and Gretel. And also, I wanted to give you a little bit of history of the author of Hansel and Gretel, and that would be uh, the Brothers Grimm. And they are from, they were from Germany. And they actually would not have written Hansel and Gretel, but what they did was um, they were two brothers, Jacob and Willem Grimm, and they were scholars, medievalists, and they went around Germany collecting folklore tales that have traveled through time and carried on. And so they formed a collection and their first edition was published um, in December, December 20th, 1812. So uh, that is a little bit of history of the Brothers Grimm. The story of Hansel and Gretel would have come out of the tragedy of the Great Famine, which was in 13, uh, 15, 1314 and 13 to 1322. There's a Great Famine in Europe. And if you get a chance and you want to research and if you find out and you can comment and answer what caused the Great Famine in 1314 to 1322. So many stories that had tragedy uh, carried through in Germ German folklore and the brothers, because of being scholars and things, collected these. And there is over 200 Brothers Grimm fairy tales. So uh, they were not written for children. They have been adapted over the years for children, same as like nursery rhymes and things like that. So if you, I want to ask you a couple questions about one, we have a question posted on there for uh, have you read any Brothers Grimm stories? And if you had, let us know which one is your favorite or which ones you have read. That would be super great. And I'm going to ask you if you can pick out, I picked a couple besides Hansel and Gretel. You know Hansel and Gretel, and we're going to read that in a minute. But if you know, there, I'll give you a clue, a couple clues. Um, Disney actually uh, has made movies and stories of, from these fairy tales. One would be of a girl. If you know the answer to this, you can answer it on, under the comments on Facebook. It was about a girl who was raised by her stepmother who was very unkind to her. And she uh, had to clean out the fireplace and would get cinders all over her. So they made fun of her and called her a name, which is the title of this book. And also there is another one where there's a beautiful young girl and she, her father has died and she is actually sent into the woods from her stepmother and a hunt, sends a huntsman to go into the woods to get rid of her. And she is very, uh, lives in the woods. Now, a lot, I mean, at a time and, um, so if you can figure out what that one is, you can say a comment. And another one would be a young girl who goes into the woods to deliver something to her grandmother. But some creature comes and tries to foil her trip to her grandmother's house. And she wears a red hood. So I'm sure if you can guess that one also. Those were a few. Oh, and then there's one with this girl who is taken from uh, her home and she has really long hair and she has, um, and she is kept in a tower. So if you can guess any of these that I said, those are all collections of the Brothers Grimm. They stem from Germany. And so if you can make a comment, that would be really wonderful. These are some, if I can, if we can see here, uh, these are some books that I got from the library and you are welcome to check them out. 
Uh, these are some Hansel and Gretel stories. This one is, uh, we both read. So mom or dad can read one page and then uh, the, you, you can read the other page with your parents. That would be for like beginning readers. And uh, this one is kind of cool. It's a choose your own adventure, Hansel and Gretel. Sorry. Choose your own adventure, Hansel and Gretel. So you get to go on an adventure. It's interactive and you would get to pick you want to what you want to experience. So it's kind of neat for uh, the junior readers. And I encourage you to come to the library and check those out. So I'm gonna set these right here. I'll move them back over so we have space. Okay, before I read the story, I picked this one to read because it's a little bit shorter, a little bit sweeter. Um, so that way, um, you're not reading the original story. And then you should have your bag. Okay, this is your bag. And inside your bag is three things. We packed you graham crackers. If you did not get a bag, that's okay. You can do this from your home. Just a package of graham crackers. Some frosting or icing. And we made this from powdered sugar and water. So you should have gotten this in your bag. And a bag of candy. Don't eat it. I know you want to. I hope no one ate their candy yet. And they saved it to make their gingerbread house. So these are the three things in there. I would also recommend a tray to, or a tablecloth or a placemat to put your stuff on to build with because it's probably gonna get a little messy. It will, for me, a pair of scissors that you've disinfected to cut the corner off so you can squeeze. And maybe um, a little paper towel or a washcloth or a dishcloth to wipe up as you go along or wipe your fingers. So those are what we have for today. If you have, I will read the story to you. If you have it, uh, those, if you don't have all those things, go ahead and get them. And we'll get ready. And I, did I tell you I'm so glad you're here today? I love doing this with you. So I'm going to read the story, this one, Ansel and Gretel. And this one is adapted by Amanda Askew. And that is because when we say adapted, that's meaning it's not her original story, but she has twisted it a little bit to have another uh, side of it or another part way to say it. And so that's why it says adapted. It is illustrated by Andy Catling. That means he is the artist behind the book. So we want to give credit to those people that have worked hard doing this. So. Um, and these are vi really vibrant uh, colors on these pages. So we're going to go ahead and start the story right now. And once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel lived in a tiny cottage with their father, a poor woodcutter, and their cruel stepmother. There are too many mouths to feed, their stepmother told the woodcutter. Take the children miles from home so far that they can never find their way back. Overhearing the conversation, Hansel slipped out of the house, filled his pockets with pebbles, and went back to bed. All night long, the woodcutter's wife nagged her husband. The next day, he led Hansel and Gretel away into the forest. As they walked through the trees, Hansel dropped the pebbles here and there. Suddenly, the woodcutter slipped away, and the children found themselves alone. Gretel began to sob bitterly. Don't cry, said Hansel. I'll take you home, even if father doesn't come back for us. Luckily, the moon was full that night, and the pebbles gleamed in the moonlight. Do you see the paddle there? The children found their way home and crept through a half-open window without waking their parents. When their stepmother discovered that Hansel and Gretel had returned, she was angry. She kept Hansel and Gretel under lock and key all day with only a sip of water and some stale bread. 
When dawn came, the woodcutter led the children out into the forest once again. Hansel, however, had not eaten his bread. And as he walked through the trees, he left a trail of crumbs to mark the way. Again, the children found themselves alone. Don't worry, I've left a trail like that last time, Hansel whispered to Gretel, sadly. The little boy had forgotten about the hungry animals in the forest. In no time at all, the crumbs had all been eaten. When dawn broke, they wandered through the forest. On and on they walked till they came upon a strange cottage. This is chocolate, gasped Hansel as he broke a lump of plaster from the wall. And this is icing, explained, exclaimed Gretel, putting a bit of the doorpost in her mouth. Starving but delighted, the children began to eat pieces of the cottage. Would you eat the cottage too? It's a candy cottage and you were hungry. Quickly, the cookie door swung open. Oh, and there stood an old woman. Look how sweet she looked. Well, well, said the old woman, peering at them. You children have quite a sweet tooth. Come in and eat what you wish. How should they come in? Should they go in our house? Let's see if they do. Oh, looks like they did. Unluckily for Hansel and Gretel, the delicious cottage belonged to a witch. They had fallen into her trap. You are nothing but skin and bones, cried the witch, looking at Hansel into, and locking him into a cage. I shall fatten you up and eat you. You will do all the housework, she told Gretel. Then I'll make a meal of you too. Each day, the witch would feel Hansel's finger. The witch had poor eyesight, so she couldn't see him. And he held out a chicken bone. Too thin, she complained. When will you become plump? At last, the witch grew tired of waiting. Light the oven, she said to Gretel. We're going to have roasted boy today. When the witch bent down to see if the oven was hot enough, Gretel gave her a big push into the oven and slammed the door. Free at last, the children stayed at the cottage eating candy. And after a few days, they found a huge chocolate egg filled with gold coins. The witch is burned to cinder now, said Hansel. We'll take the treasure home with us to father. They sat, they set off into the woods. And on the second day, they found their way home. Their wicked stepmother had left in disgust. So Hansel, Gretel, and their father lived happily ever after. The end. So that is this rendition of Hansel and Gretel. And now is the fun part. So if you could get your stuff ready, I will move these over more. And so here is your graham crackers and you'll want to cut the package open so you don't crush them. You can lay them out on your table or wherever you're doing these. We'll pull out some. Now, just so you know, you can build this any way you want. You do not need me. You don't have to follow everything I do. This is just your own creation. And what I hope you will do is you will send a picture, take a picture when you're done and post it under the comments so I can see what you made because I would love to see it. I would. And your candy, don't eat it. 
I know, I know someone's eating it right now. Don't eat it right now. I know it. Don't do it. Okay. You can, there's some gummy bear, little tiny gummy bears and your candies. You can put them in a bowl. I would have brought a dish, but I forgot. So I'm just going to keep them in the baggies or dump them out on the tray when I get a chance. Um, so I can pick out a selection. Take your, I made a line for you, kind of, still there. And if your frosting is a little separated, because it was water and powdered sugar, if it started separating, um, try, you can kind of mix it up a little bit, squeezing it a little bit. Don't squeeze it too hard that it pops out of the top. If you did, it's okay, not a big deal. But you might want to mix it up a little bit uh, so it's not separated. And then kind of squeeze the end so it gets the frosting out. Because you're going to kind of make like a, you know, piping bag. And then you just snip the end. And then you have your little bag there. Okay, now what I would do, what I'm going to do, not that you have to do this, I'm just going to break them and make mine a little bit smaller. So you, I'm just going to break mine in half. And, and that way I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. But if you wanna use the whole pieces and build it, go. you are welcome to do that. And that way I have it symmetrical for me. So, um, you can do it tall, you can do however you want, okay? I'm just doing it small, because that's how I like it. Um, what you want to do is take your frosting and put it around the bottom. And actually a little a spatula would be good too. I'm not going to eat mine. That's a lot of sugar. But if you eat yours, we were very sterile in making it. So I can imagine that some of you will want to eat your, eat your candies and stuff. So. Um, so I'm just putting it here, and then we're going to make the walls. Like a little knife or spoon would probably have been a good idea for me. I did not bring one. And then I'm just going to put the crackers, set it on here. It's kind of like the mortar or glue. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to set them there and put them together. So it's going to be, I had mine in the refrigerator, a little cold still. I don't know if you kept put yours in the fridge or not. And so then I can put them together like this. Did you like the story? I love Hansel and Gretel. I remember as a kid, I loved the Brothers Graham growing up, but I was more of a junior high, I think, when I was reading them. If you notice um, all the stories I said, there always seems to be a forest in the woods. And stepmother or somebody that's not Little Red Riding Hood, I don't remember the original story of that, so I just know she's going the woods for Granny's house. Um, but there's so many adaptations to these stories that are kind of cool over the years. The fun part's coming up. I hope that you still have candy left also to make your house so cute. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my roof. And you can do it any way you like. You can just, I'm going to put a flat one on the bottom here because I'm not, I'm not that artistic. <laughs> and so this is kind of fun to get to do with you. 
I really can't wait to see your houses. So don't eat them all until you send me a picture. If you post it on Facebook, um, under the comments here, I'll see them. And then I can comment back to you. Right, <clears throat> right then. Eek, there we go. I hope you're having an easier time than me also. <laughs> or maybe if it's harder, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, the fun part is going to be decorating it though. And then I'm going to put some. Mine's going to come out here. There we go. And I'm going to spread it with the other graham cracker here. I want it to kind of stay. It's sticking good. I, I think it's sticking pretty good, actually. Very happy with that. If yours isn't, oh, mine popped through the top already. I squeezed too hard. Yours probably, somebody's out there probably did too. It's okay. Nothing you can't clean up. Okay. Now. There's this part, and then I'm going to take the frosting and put it, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's this part. I'm gonna take the frosting and I'm going to uh, spread it over the whole thing now, or parts of it. So it's dripping, so icing to make the candy stick to it. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't push too hard, cause it'll break if you do. Just be gentle. And I'm sure that your frosting is warmer than mine. I just used um, powdered sugar and water. That was it. And it's a pretty cheap, cheap way to make your own frosting at home, too. Okay, so I made, I put some on this side. Now I'm gonna put some on the other side. Since I didn't bring a knife, I am just, I am just going to, whoops, I'm just going to use another graham cracker. I'm probably looking down a lot because I'm working on this. And I know I wanna look up so you can see me. So if you just put the frosting all over, and then we can drop the candies on it. I might be pushing too hard too. Here we go. Um, which one is your favorite candies in there? We have some M&Ms, colorful M&Ms, and we have some colorful chocolate chips, the gummy bears. There's some, I think there's like, a star, like a chewy starburst. Those are like the squares that look like a piece of gum. There's also some gumdrops that are in there. And um, so if you like candy, I am sure that you will love eating your gingerbread house. I wouldn't eat it all at once. And I wouldn't go in the house either it appears that there is not a nice woman in there. Okay. There we go. I didn't break my, I didn't break my gingerbread or my graham cracker big enough of the same size. Now, I know that there are some very good artists out there that are gonna do a great job doing this. I am not doing that great right now, but it's okay. Get in there. Oh. And I hope you've enjoyed um, the weather outside too. It's been so nice. The rain has been nice for your garden. Does anybody also do a garden? I did a garden this year with some kids. 
So we planted some tomatoes and some, uh, you know, like cantaloupe, right? some lettuce, some peppers, some herbs. We have a couple watermelon plants, squashes, stuff like that. We're going to see how it turns out in our garden, but this rain's been nice for that. And if you do gardens too, you should. You should show me some of your gardens. Now you can use this like glue where it's starting to fall and just kind of squeeze some more out. Pick it there. Okay, so we have some, some, definitely, this was the three little pigs. It would definitely fall over. Okay, so I'm going to shake out some candy. Uh, try not to eat it yet. I know you want to eat one. It's so good. And then you can put your little however you want. You put some gumdrops on top. Because they're so cute. I think I'll do a purple one. I'm going to do purple. And I'm going to drop some M&Ms on the roof. There we go. And you can make a pattern if you like. And I could make a doorway. Oops, my name tag. I'm gonna make a doorway out of out of my starburst shoes. There we go. And just however you want to do it. There's chocolate chips too. And then the gummy bears, just rip open the, the little package, shake them out. There is plenty of candy here. I don't think you'll run out of candy to decorate your entire house with it. But there's how we get started. Stay on there, little teddy bear. One there, there's some more gumdrops. Anyway, this is how you're, you do your, your gingerbread house. And I just wanna thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope this was a fun activity for you. I'm gonna get ready to end. because I think my time is kind of running out. I'm gonna show you. I'll hold up my, my little creation, part of it, partially done. So I will kind of hold it up. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. There's some of it. So um, I really hope that you can send me a picture of yours. And you can do this over and over again over the summertime. And just get more supplies from the store. And um, I just want to thank you so much for coming and joining in with me and come into the library. You can come in. We're doing checking out of books right now. That's what's going on now. That's what we're on. So you can go ahead and check these books out. Uh, they will be available in a couple of days. And there's more. There's still more. I didn't check out all of the Hansel and Gretel books. So, and um, just thank you so much for coming. And I can't wait to see you the next time. Take care.